1.1 expressions and formulas the order of operations which means that we have parentheses exponents multiply and divide add and subtract PEMDAS evaluate expressions inside grouping symbols grouping symbols can not only be parentheses grouping symbols would also be a square root I can put a lot of things under a square root the absolute value And we also have the division bar. These are all grouping symbols. Next, we have exponents. There is your exponent. It can look like that anywhere where you see a power multiplying and dividing remember you need to go from left to right whichever occurs first and that would also be true of adding and subtracting left to right whichever occurs first and that also is true for exponents if i had two different sets of exponents i always work left to right example one do we have any parentheses yes I see that I have a couple sets of parentheses. I see the square bracket. So I'm looking inside these parentheses. And then I need to start all over. Are there any more parentheses in the parentheses? Yes. This is where I'm starting on the rounded parentheses. I have 18. Subtracting 6 plus 4 is 10. I need to keep simplifying inside the parentheses until I have a number. 18 minus 10 is 8. I can drop the parentheses. There's nothing out front being multiplied to it. It's not being raised to a power. So I have 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Example two, I am asked to evaluate 3x squared plus x times y minus 5 if x equals 3 and y equals 0 0.5. I need to substitute those things in. I have 3 times x is being squared, x is 3, plus x is 3 times y, which is 0 0.5 subtracting 5. I am working on the order of operations. I'm thinking of PEMDAS. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. Here's a parenthesis, but there's nothing in there to do. It's just a number. Here is another parenthesis. This is where I'm starting. I'm going to bring down everything. I cannot just drop these parentheses because I see it's being multiplied by 3 on the outside. 0 0.5 minus 5. These are different signs. Positive. I am going a positive and a negative. 0 0.5, a half minus 5. I'm going to subtract them. 5 minus a half is 4.5. And I take the sign from the larger number. 5 minus a half is 4 and a half. I subtract and take the sign from the larger number. After parentheses comes exponents. Here's my exponent, 3 squared. That's all I'm doing is this part. So I have this 3 times 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. Then I have plus 3 times negative 4 and a half. 
Are there any other exponents? No. Any multiplying and dividing? Yes. Where do I start? Left to right, whichever occurs first. I start here on the left. I see 3 times 9 is 27 plus 3 times negative 4 and a half. How do I multiply fractions? I'm going to make this one look like a fraction. 3 over 1 times, if I look at my fraction rules, I would see that I need to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. It's going to be negative. And then 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 9 halves. I'm ready to multiply these together. Get 27 plus, is there any cross canceling? 1 and 9, no. 2 and 3, no. Just going to multiply straight across. 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. 1 times 2 is 2. All right, how do I add and subtract fractions? I need a common denominator. What is the common denominator for make 27 a fraction? 1 and 2. The common denominator is 2. This one already has the denominator of 2, so I just need to change this one. Going to multiply by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So 27 times 2 is 54. We have 54 halves plus negative 27 halves. We are adding different signs, so we subtract 54 minus 27. 54 halves minus 27 halves equals 27 halves. Can I simplify my improper fraction? They are not both even, so I can't divide by 2, and I can leave this as my final answer. Example 3, A times B divided by D. We need to simplify the numerator. The denominator is already simplified. It's just a fraction. 8.2 times negative 3 is going to be negative. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 8 is 24. There's one decimal place in the problem total, so I need one decimal place in my answer. 8.2 times negative 3 is 24 and 6 tenths, divided by negative 1 half. We, are, we have a decimal that's being divided by a fraction. There are multiple ways to do this problem. I could do all decimals, all fractions. Let's start by negative 24.6. We're dividing by a negative half. And how do we divide fractions? We flip and multiply. Negative 24.6 times negative 2 over 1. So really, we're just multiplying negative 24 and 6 tenths times negative 2. It's going to be a positive, or I could have just done 24.6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. I have one decimal place in the problem. I need one decimal place in my answer. Our final answer is 49 and 2 tenths. 5 times 6 times C. C is 4 minus 8 times B, which is negative 3, plus 10 times D, which is a negative half. 
Why did I use square brackets to show multiplication? Because I already had rounded brackets in the problem. Order of operation says that you start with parentheses. Is there anything in the big parentheses to do? Yes, I have multiplying and subtracting and adding. We know that multiplying comes before adding and subtracting. We have 5 times 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract. Or negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. 10 times a negative half. What's half of 10? 5. 10 times a negative half is negative 5. We need to finish simplifying. We have 24 plus 24 is 48 minus 5. Then we have 5 times 43. 43. Excuse my farm hands. I have scrubbed them. And it's harvest time. So it is what it is. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 1 is 215. Last problem, we have c squared minus 1 divided by b minus d, which is a negative 1 half. Four squared, four times four is 16, minus one. In the denominator, you need to clean up those double negatives. Negative times a negative becomes positive. We have negative three plus a half. Three take away a half is two and a half, and that will be negative two and a half. 16 minus one is 15. And I know that when I divide with fractions, I have to flip and multiply. So I'm going to change this to an improper fraction. We have 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 halves. And now I am ready to flip and multiply. 15 divided by negative 5 halves. That's going to be 15 over 1. And when we flip the second fraction, we get negative 2 fifths. Look for that cross canceling, 5 and 15. What do they have in common? They have a common factor of 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then multiply straight across. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 1 times 1 is 1, but I'm not going to put it over 1. Final answer is negative 6.